Hey guys, welcome to a segment of the Grind Never Stops podcast. Before we start today's show, again, I want to thank everyone who has tuned in for us from day one as we officially reached 260 subs on YouTube and that's a lot of support from all of you guys. So thank you very much. Keep supporting. Keep sharing our podcast. And we'll be glad to shout you out on our podcast. But before, again, we start this segment, we want to welcome a new guy that have joined our team. And his name is Steve. He'll be doing our, he'll be working on our blogs. He will be our editor on our blogs. And we'll doing more things in the near future. So welcome Steve to the Grind Never Stops podcast. And we will have him on for next episode. Um, so you guys could uh, welcome Steve to the Grind Never Stops podcast. But in well, in this segment, in the next segments we will do is we will preview every NFL team and their preview for this season as the season starts September 9, which is next week. So we're going to try to do all 30 teams in this week. Uh, we'll, we, we will do the New Orleans Saints in this segment. And in our next segment, we will talk about the best team in America, which is the Dallas Cowboys. Okay, so let's start. So for the Saints, they always find a way to disappoint in the playoffs after having great regular season. And ever since they won their Super Bowl against Peyton Manning's Colts in 2006, they have had amazing regular season record. But then once the playoffs begin, they disappoint. Because the offensive line for the Saints is huge and they're disgusting. Because they rely running the football with Alvin Kamara up the middle. And Alvin Kamara is not that fast. But it's not the problem. He can literally do everything. Then you have Ty Montgomery, who's a Besai man, he can play wide receiver and can play the running back position. Then you have Leterius Murray, a solid, elusive, a veteran backup. He's also an inconsistent route running, and hands would make him the third string, which can make Devontae Freeman the odd man out. And this guy could be a good player for contending teams like the Bucks. And the Steelers. But how are the Saints going to bounce? And how, not only the Saints, but how is Devontae Freeman going to bounce back from being injury prone and his declining agility? Because he's been running defenders over and he still got it. So we need to see if they're going to use Devontae Freeman this season. Because if they're not, there's no point to keep him on the roster for the Saints. And let's go for the quarterbacks. And quarterback is the most important position to watch for the Saints. Because Drew Brees went into retirement. And the Saints have James Winston as their starting quarterback. But He's been up and down his entire NFL career, even though he is still young. And even though he's still young, he still has great arm strength. And he's a reliable runner. Is he the next Tim Tebow? But I have one question for James Winston. If if he can play at a consistent level with a team that's been getting it done in the regular season for a decade but he's got company because he's not the only quarterback that can play football because they got a backup and a great future quarterback in Taysom Hill because Taysom Hill's arm strength is is you ask a lot of questions that if it's average because you also have a former Broncos quarterback in Trevor Seaman, who's built for the bootleg play action using his legs. 
And I do feel sorry for Ian Book because if he does get cut because his arm strength is literally, literally dead, as you notice from the quarterbacks they have had or the quarterbacks where they run the play fix or they, they get the quarterback to run from the outside to move the sticks. But if they do pass, you need to watch on a great receiver who might be a future Hall of Famer and a, and it's Michael Thomas. Michael Thomas is six foot three, a great red zone threat, especially on fade routes, which causes matchup pro- problems. But it's not a speed burner. But that doesn't matter because his hands and his route running are nuts, which leads to the offensive telestrator, which the Cowboys have a similar offense to the Saints because the Saints, they like to run a shotgun with two wide receivers to the left and right just near the offensive line. And then and the running back is next to the quarterbacks. Because as you notice, for all the people that are fans of Drew Brees or who are been watching the Saints, you could look at the far right side of the screen, which the wide receiver to the left will run a straight route, which is a straight line route, and the player near him will basically run a 15-yard route straight up first and then make a U-turn for the first down. But this is only effect this was effective when they had Drew Brees running the offense. So without Drew Brees and with a guy, James Winston, who's been a bum ever since he came to this league, you don't know if this offense could 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 do it because on the good side, if you want to shut this offense, you need to find ways to protect the middle of the field. Because if that happens, James Winston will get lost as he's been lost ever since he got drafted. And he will get sacked and they will be dead last in sacks if... The Saints don't find a way for the defense to not for the defense to not go in and protect the middle of the field because they do protect. James Winston will get sacked as many times. Okay, so that's it for the offense, and now let's talk the defense. So if you watch Tony Sirigas's preview report for the preseason game between uh, the 49ers and the Saints. They did three things. And those three things is the things that you have to have in your defense system. is pressure, pressure, and pressure. Because they have great two defensive men in Cameron Jordan and Marcus Davenport. Because they are pass rushers off the edge from opposite sides a ton. Because nobody talks about their team's defensive backs. Because one of their defensive backs, Malcolm Jenkins, is a balanced, versatile defensive back. And then you also have a similar defenseman in Martian Lattimore, who's a great corner that always plays tight all the time. And obviously, gentlemen, zone defense does not exist in the Saints system. But as a matter of fact, the Saints do not care. So if you watch the Saints as a fan, you will mostly realize that their defensive backs are unstoppable. And don't forget that they also have Will Lutz. Because when the game is on the line and Ty Montgomery, who punts the ball and a great kickoff return specialist, he gives them decent field position at the start but guys for my prediction this season i think that the new orleans saints will win minimum 10 games which will end with a 10 and 10 and 7 season and is that good to make the playoffs you don't know because a lot of teams have changed the roster so i'm gonna preview more teams and you will see who's gonna make it and who's not but the question is If the Saints' talent on the roster right now will disappoint again this year, because this year they don't have Hall of Famer Drew Brees. But time will tell. 
But guys, that's it for the 2021 New Orleans Saints season preview. And thanks for tuning in to this short segment of the Grind Never Stops podcast. Make sure to tune in to our second preview as we will preview America's team, the Dallas Cowboys. This is your host, DJ Joe.